What is going on guys today we are looking at Josh Pask. He is one of the options you can get at level 15. And before you know what we've got we've got three of them to be able to do all three. So I'm very happy to try and kind of give you who in game actually looks better and who you want to choose. I think it is a hard one this time round because I personally think none will make anybody's teams but it might be um, kind of the choice between icon swaps teams, any sort of objectives going forward. So personally for me, Pask actually looks relatively nice in terms of a centre-back. We haven't had any championship players, so um, personally that is my choice. Um, I've gone with Josh just because I feel like he would be the better one for my squad or my club overall at the moment. In terms of what we've got from him then, obviously he is... what. Well, uh, Coventry centre-back, I was just trying to figure out what the team was then, Coventry centre-back, freestyle weak foot, he stands at six foot two. unfortunately doesn't have any traits to kind of go with him, but to be fair, he's had a nice upgrade, he's gone from a 64 rated bronze rare, all the way up to an 83, so it's always nice to see that, composure, for an 83 isn't necessarily terrible, agility balance is actually quite good for a centre-back, pace-wise is decent, you're obviously going to go with a shadow on this guy more than anything, and he will have 93 pace, 88 defending, and straight away that looks fantastic, it turns him into an 86 centre-back, but the one thing that you've always got to kind of be more conservative about with just applying pace and thinking that's going to be enough is that the animations of the player maybe he still feels like a bronze that is always something to, to, uh, to take into consideration stamina being 72 is fine great strength and aggression on him 90 is absolutely fantastic and some good short passing so i'm expecting semi decent things from him so let's jump into pask and see is he the choice for you straight away let's get him on the ball see what it's all about doesn't feel feels nice and quick to be fair to him Passing, nice. We'll see what the defending's like. Also, obviously, it's quite hard to just naturally get the defending on him. But we will kind of see all elements from him. I want to see all of his game, passing and all. So he should be a relatively good card in terms of just a kind of squad builder. More English championship sort of player. Um, obviously, that's a little... One into Mane, what a goal. But in terms of kind of what you can expect from him, I feel like don't go too mad with them. And I, I do think definitely you look at the likes of Joe Gomez, you look at the likes of, I'm trying to think who else. I don't think there's another English centre-back, but then you look at the likes of someone like uh, Davidson Sanchez, you look at uh, Rudiger. They are coming in very, very cheap now. So it's not even if you've got no options for centre-backs. I feel like they are already absolutely fantastic for a very, very cheap price so he's not necessarily going to go into pretty much anybody's main team i am pretty sure of that one but in terms of a championship squad builder i feel like he's definitely going to be a nice one and also potentially getting squad foundations which was the free players we got last year that would be absolutely fantastic to kind of see again as obviously it gives you more of an opportunity to get yourself some nice uh, special cards in the minor leagues I think another good option would definitely be the left wing for obviously the air division. I think it's Hale. I will pronounce that correctly once we get there. Oh, I was really toying with this guy there. I thought he'd bring the keeper out, to be fair to him. But I think he is, again, another great option. The goalkeeper, for me, I think is just a miss. Uh, just a miss. I really kind of wouldn't like to, to kind of put it all on the goalkeeper. We will try him out and see if he's actually anything. We lose the ball there in a crucial moment. Luckily, Donnarumma is going to set himself up for that one nicely. I think it's mad. We're trying to, to kind of let the guy at least have a little bit of an attack to see what we can get from defending. And honestly, he's just struggling more than anything. Pask is having an absolute field day with literally nothing. Same with Kempembe. They're both just absolutely in no man's land with nobody to tackle. Pass watching the runner. Oh, it's an easy step up for Theo. Pass doing well in his defensive position. And I think definitely he is uh, in the right uh, kind of zones if the guy was attacking. But like I say, he's, he's kind of a bit struggling in terms of actually getting the ball forward. So it's quite a nice game for a centre-back, but also not a nice game for uh, reviewing a centre-back. Pass moment. Oh, he does it. <laughs> he actually makes the challenge. And away. Love it. Pass getting, I think, a little touch on it. I don't think he made it made full contact, but definitely had some sort of connection with it. Pass watching the inside. Gets it away. Lovely defending again. We're getting a bit more about him now, heading. Obviously, the strength side of stuff should be absolutely fantastic with him. He has got 90 pace, uh, 90 strength on his base. So, again, quite a big, big bulky player in there. Donnarumma is going to come and collect that before Pass can actually make any sort of contribution to it. Pask. 
deals with it in the air. Genuinely, really, really nice player in the air. Messi with an incredible turn. But definitely, the, the kind of aerial battles, it seems, pass ha absolutely has on lock here. So it is quite nice to see. With then the boost of that shadow taking his defender to 88. With 90 stand and 94 slide. Plus the 89 interceptions. I am expecting a semi-decent card. The animations don't seem terrible. Seems relatively good on the jockey. You can obviously definitely tell the... Um, the, the boost in sort of card, it doesn't necessarily feel bronze-like, which is always nice. And I think that is kind of the big thing. And I think centre-backs can get away with it just that little bit more. Sometimes they can feel absolutely awful. But actually, this guy, I feel like I've made my right choice. We've gone with the first one being, obviously, championship. And I think I've personally made the right opinion on who to go for at the moment. Pass coming across. He's got Hakimi on him. Watching him. We can still, oh, I thought he was going to go for that guy. Otherwise, he would have been in absolute perfect positioning. Great block there. Lovely stuff. Oh, and what is that? I wanted it straight to Aubameyang. I think I pressed Y rather than A there. Oh, pass with an absolute peach of a tackle. Just he was going for the, the shot. Manages to, to pull himself out of it and get a lovely block on. Oh, and again, stunning. That is what you want to see from him. A hell of a lot better defending clips there. Lovely last-ditch challenge twice in a row in the space of 10 minutes. I'm going to do a little bit of a chop. Go for the big finesse, and Fakir is going to put his body in the way. Big header. Does win it. Lovely. I think he's free for free in headers. Messi with a volley, and what a save from Lloris. Dealing with it. Big ball up to Messi. He's going to head it down to Verratti. One more to Aubameyang. Little dink. Oh, I say a little dink over to, him, uh, to Messi, but doesn't quite get the little part of it. So if we go into the overall four pass then. What a player. Actually really, really started off um, a little bit slow. I felt like he was trying to get into the game. The opponent obviously wasn't helping with the fact that he just wasn't really attacking down that side. Or at least attacking into a point where Pask had to make a challenge rather than just kind of like stepping in the way. But then he kind of got into it in the second half and really made some cracking ch challenges. Last minute challenges, interceptions, heads. Actually a really well-rounded centre-back in terms of defensive ability. So very, very happy with my personal choice. Obviously in terms of upgrades, we've had 5 on a pace, 10 on the shooting, 19 passing, 18 dribbling... 17 defending and 16 um, physical. I missed the last one there. So a very big upgrade. Obviously gone from a, a bronze all the way up to a special gold. So fantastic again to see this from EA. Obviously this has been a kind of no change from the past few years. We normally see bronze, silvers, even low rated golds go up into level 15. But then obviously we normally get the gold cards or maybe top end silvers in the level 30s. So we will try again to get them done also once level 30 hits. But for now, Pask for me is my choice and I'm very, very happy with him indeed. He really kind of puts himself in that championship role for obviously the squad builder that I want him for obviously we have Grant later on so if we wanted to go for the championship striker as well then that is obviously the op option we also have a rule breaker in terms of um I can't remember, uh, Tom, is it Tom, I think? I want to say his first name's Tom and then obviously Mitrovic, Wilson and uh, Bre Breton we're not going to go there. But in terms of kind of specials, then that that's it. That's all we've got at the moment. So we want to just start building the championship up a little bit. We've started to kind of go with the other leagues. We've had a Vizier. We've got a few because of player of the month. We've obviously uh, the Portuguese league. We've had a couple due to red picks. So it's nice to now get the championship up as we know that will be an objective at some point in the future. In terms of his ability then with a shadow, I think definitely you're looking at quite a solid um, centre-back. Would I say he'd kind of beat any main team centre-backs right now? If you're looking at Kimpembe, Marquinhos, uh, Varane, Virgil, all of the top-end centre-backs that pretty much most people have. I think every game in foot champs, I see at least one top tier. So I don't personally think he's going to get into anybody's main team, but most definitely a B team, an objective team. That is personally where a lot of these 83s are going to lie. So overall for me, I'm coming in with Pask for the ability of him. I think for a storyline, it's fantastic. But in terms of ability, I'd be looking at about 7.5 because obviously there still is extra things that I'd like him to have um, in terms of maybe a bit more composure. The agility balance, I'd always like more, but I think it's actually quite solid for a centre-back. Obviously, he does have some some still traits in terms of bronze in him, in terms of animations, which would be nice with his own set if he was to manage to go up a little bit more. But again, that is something that you're wishing for that 
is unfortunately not going to happen just yet unless he makes a big move into one of these clubs to get himself a gold card. Obviously, jumping-wise, again, a bit more. Stamina, I think, is okay, but you can never go too wrong with too much stamina. And then, obviously, a bit more passing, again, would be fantastic to raise him to that top tier. But other than that, hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know down below who you're going to pick. And if you are wanting to check out any more of the storylines, they should be in the uh, end screen in about a second. So stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Peace.